back on my little cute friends how are you all fabulous okay that's amazing that's so good all right so tell me what was the interesting thing that you all did today any of the interesting thing it can be watching your favorite cartoon writing something new okay learning something new what is that what was the thing okay that's nice or maybe you have played something or you won a game okay that's amazing wow so good that's so good okay nice all right so you all know why we are here for or what we are going to do today who all know that this session is for yes absolutely right so this is the craft session right yes so good all right so my excited little kids there what are we going to make today tell me tell me tell me tell me uh huh is that some creature is that some thing what is that okay so i will put to you a riddle as we always do right so i will throw a riddle and you need to crack it you need to answer it and then you will get to know what exactly we are going to make today okay all right so the thing is it says i am always i'm never thirsty but always drinking who am i i am never thirsty but always drinking who am i okay that's nice i can see some of the right answers yes that was a good try <laughs> what the fool yes so all those who can't really crack the riddle this is yes this is a hit for you all i'm acting it like i am showing you a biggest hit here what's that yes so that's a fish okay so yes we will be making a very interesting this very cute aquatic scene okay fish is all around of different different sizes different colors they are different in looks also they have got different patterns and scales and so we will be creating this underwater scene using crafts okay yes everyone all right are you all with me on this okay super so my little friends in order to make it we all need to shift to the workstation so let's we quickly switch to the workstation here we go you can have a look of this okay so that's a rough reference layout for you all we will be making even more beautiful artwork out of this okay so what are the things that we would need let me tell you that colorful sheets definitely some paint okay to do to make the water droplets the bubbles okay so we will be making that using paint scissor for a little bit of the cutting part okay earbuds to make the droplets here okay to get the perfect droplets to draw them to paint them or to put the perfect droplets we will be using earbuds here okay some amount of water okay just for the paint very less amount of water i'm sorry and glue for all the pasting work fevicol glue or fevistic whatever you are using all right sketch pens okay to make the patterns to make the designs or the eyes of the fishes here different different fishes we are making of different sizes okay all right and basic stationery is including pencil eraser sharpener and scale okay all right are we good to go okay then let me keep my things aside okay here i'm putting my things aside and let's start the making okay here so kids we will use one sheet as a base for our craft work okay so one sheet that one sheet i'll be using will be of blue color this time so this will be the base of our artwork or the craft work for the day okay similarly you can also pick any shade of blue color to make the base of your craft work okay here 
So this is the base. Let me trim the corners, okay, to make it equal, to make it uniform. Similarly, you can pick your sheets, okay, that will be the base of our artwork. You need not to do this specific step. You need not to follow this one here, just for the finishing touch here. So this was, this is my sheet here, okay. You need not to do anything with this for now. Put it in sleeping position like this. So this will be our canvas. This will be the aquatic scene base, the background of our craft work for the day. Okay, keep it aside. First of all, we will start. We will learn the technique of making such fishes here. Okay, and to make them, we will be using different color square sheets. Okay, of different sizes you can use. Okay, of different colors you can use so that we will get even more beautiful artwork. All right, colorful fishes in the water, in this uh, pond, in the ocean or in the sea. Wow, they look amazing, right? So, starting with this orange one, okay, you can see the square sheet here. Yes, everyone, now take such square sheet, any color you can pick, you can start with any color. We will try to make it as colorful as we can, okay? Yes, all right. So, keep the background little away. We will use that later for the pasting work and to start the other Detailings, okay. Now, put it, first of all, learn the technique of making the fish. So, first of all, put it in a form of a kite or a diamond shape. Place it like a diamond. Yes. Now, from one of its corner, like from, I have picked it from the bottom. Okay. So, pick it from the bottom like this and fold it up to fold the whole sheet in half. Okay. Like this. Fold it. And now press well with your fingertips. Okay. Are we on the same page? Good. Okay. Similarly, I folded this. All right. Press, 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 press. Are we good? Yes. Now unfold it, kids. Okay. Yes. And from the back side, flip the sheet. So this is one line. All of you can see this line. Good. Now, again, you have flipped the sheet, right? You have flipped the sheet. Now, kids, place it like this again in the form of a diamond or a kite. And pick the, yes, the right side corner. And give a fold to the sheet once again. Okay? Also, give a press with your fingertips. Okay? Yes, everyone. Cool. We are done with this. Yes, we are done with this. Now, kids, after folding this, all of you can see that we have got a cross structure here. Yes. Now, put it like a square as the shape it already has. Okay. Now, okay, give a fold like this. Yes, fold the square in half like this. Okay. Fold and press with your Fingertips again. All right. Done. Now, place it in a form of diamond like this. Okay. Carefully place it. And all of you can see the markings here on the sheet. Yes, the markings are visible to all of you. Now, fold it like this. So, carefully give a fold. A fold like this. Inward also. Okay, give all the margins, give all the folds clearly. Give folds once again here to get the good finishing. We are done with that. Now, again, put it in a diamond form and follow these margins. Okay, pick it from this side, pick it from this side. Okay, give a fold like this. So, here. Okay, put it in a, put it in a diamond form. Pick right side corner. Bring left side corner, fold, 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 and the flap. What type of structure we get here, kids? A triangle. Okay, if you will have a look from the base, so this is how it will look. Okay, all right. Yes, can you see this? Great. Now, take, choose any side that you want to choose at the front or the back portion here. This is the tail portion that I'm using. All right, pick one side. All right, bring it like this, fold it like this and make a fold like this in center. Here, 
okay or maybe if you want more in this up till the center line so make a fold like this up till the center line and bring it on okay here up till this much looks fine to me all right similarly do the same thing give a fold like this from the other side as well so that you will get a crisscross structure and when we flip it this is the structure that we will get which is a tail like structure yes it is okay perfect now kids take your glue out all right yes take that out apply some on this surface this flap so that you can stick it okay here like this okay to make it fix all right rest of the structure we will paste afterwards okay so fish number 1 is ready all right yes the big fish is ready now pick any other color so i will be picking red now mm, let me take out the red sheet out of all these colors so i've got options so now i'll pick red okay and then i will pick yellow some of my favorite colors here okay so first i'm starting with red so this is already a square sheet but as i have told you fishes of different sizes we will be making right yes i have told you that so kids what i will do on the square sheet from the square sheet instead i will cut even smaller square okay here i'm taking out even smaller square from this big red sheet this is the square that i've taken from this red sheet here okay yes let me make it equal from the top here okay so this is the square that i have taken from the red sheet similarly from the yellow sheet i will pick another square okay or what we can do here fold the sheet like this okay in order to get small square fold it like this in half okay then give one more fold give a fold one more time okay here like this we have got a fold i've done a fold and now i'm tapping it with my fingertips okay are we good to go yes now when i will unfold it or when we will unfold it how many blocks we got here four blocks from one sheet after folding we got four squares right four equal squares i will follow the outline here the marking okay so this is the marking all right and marking from this side as well and i will take out one square from this bigger square okay here yes okay kids now let's make the fishes from these two also okay so let's do that take the sheet okay fold it like this first put it in the form of a diamond done now fold it like this in half okay making the top meet okay yes now pressing with the fingertips i can see extra also you can see the extra space here if you find it that way quickly trim that off take that out from one side similarly take that out from other side as well okay removed keep it away so this was number 1 fold one fold in sleeping position let's give another fold in standing position like this okay so give another fold in standing position like this okay that's done yes everyone it's done right now trim off the corners if you can see any here i've removed it all right yes here we got a structure like this yes yes again we got a structure the margin yes okay so now as and when we will give it a fold we will fold it inward like this to get a triangle and from the top how it looks from the top 
Yes, absolutely right. So this is the way, this is the structure. It will look from the top. Okay. Choose any side as the front portion and any as the back side. Okay. So this will be my front portion. Now, giving one fold from this line. Okay. The other one, crossing it like this from the other side. Okay. The other one, making it cross like this or yes. Like this from the other side. Now, if we will fold it, uh -oh, that's an incomplete one. So, let's make a fold a little lengthier, like little forward, okay? So that your fold can be visible and the tail will be equal, okay? If you find it little longer, so yes, you can give a cut in order to make the tail look equal. Somewhat like this. Okay. So fish number two is also ready. Now it's turn for the yellow one. Okay. So let's glue it. Let's stick this. Take the glue. Apply some at the inside portion here. Okay. Carefully overlap it. Okay. Keep it aside. Clean the areas. And now place it like this. Fish number two. Okay. Now. Fish number three to be made with yellow color. Place it like diamond. All right. Now fold it in half. First in sleeping position like this. Okay. Yes. Now unfold and again fold it in standing position like this. Fold the she same sheet carefully. Okay. Hold the same sheet, same sheet. Okay, that's done. All right, kids. Properly grease it well from all the sides. Here, from here also, I can see some extra portions coming out. So I'm trimming it off from both the sides. And so you can also do that. Okay, done. After doing this, after giving both the folds, again, place it like this in a form of diamond. Okay. Bring it, bring it straight. Well, this is the fold. Make it, uh, uh careful. So this was the fold, okay? Make it fold like, well, yes. Make it, uh, uh got stuck here. All right. So we have to make it fold like this so that we will get a perfect triangle on both the sides, front and back, and this wave like structure, okay? As we always did, as we did earlier, choose any side as the front portion, okay? And the other one as the tail portion, the back side, yes? Now, fold number one, similarly, at a cross position, going straight, fold number two, okay? Here, fold number two, and that's how we got a yellow fish, okay? Now, yellow orange, red. If you want to add blue, we can add different shade of blue also. Okay, so here's the blue sheet. From this also, I will cut another little longer than half. Yes, this size of square sheet and take out from this blue sheet. Here. Okay, keeping the rest aside. All right, so diamond. Yes, fold number one okay carefully give one fold in sleeping position and number two fold in standing position so fold number one okay carefully give fold number one unfold it then give fold number two okay in standing one in standing so the other one should be in sleeping we need to keep this in mind all right now Taking off the extra trim out. Here. All right. After doing this, we will place it in a form of a kite and we will fold it. So, place it like this, fold, take it in and fold it in a way that it forms a triangle. Okay. It forms a triangle on both the sides, front as well as on the back side. Okay. Now we have an option to choose any of the sides 
Okay, so this will be the front. Now, folding half of it like this upward and half of it like this the upper side, folding it downward like this. Here, now I'll, when I flipped it, so this is the structure that we got here. Okay, yes, kids. All right, I think these much look enough to me these much look fine to me so let me make the tape all right all right so these are the portions these are the places that we will be yes we will be these are the count of the fishes that i'm using here okay adding some glue on this base to make it stick here to make it bind to make it stick all right now what i'm thinking four or five let's Keep it, make it five okay so in order to make it five i'm using one more light shade of pink here okay so this is the very light shade of pink and from this bigger sheet here i will pick small yes a very small square sheet i'll take out a small square sheet of this size okay here all right okay now, keeping the sheet aside, putting it on the surface, we all know how to place it, diamond, like placement, first to be placed like diamond and then fold number one in sleeping position. If we are giving one fold in sleeping position, the other one should be in standing position, right? Yes, so the other fold should be towards standing position like this. Okay, so keep the cutting of the trims. Here. So one was sleeping, or if I've placed it like this, so one standing, other one to be sleeping fold. Okay, so let's give a sleeping fold like this. Here. Okay, carefully make it meet with your fingertips and one on either sides. All right, now cut off the extra portions from both the areas from both of the sides it's done right here yes now hold it hold it hold it like this hold it like this 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 sheet is comparatively thicker okay and that's the reason why you can see or you must have witnessed that the fold isn't really easy in this thicker sheets okay so try to use sheets which are a little thinner in texture in terms of the paper the thickness okay here, place it like this. All right, so we need to give it a fold. So let me give it a fold once more, one more time. Here, now placing it like this, like this, and making a triangle. Oh, oh, it's not coming out well. Here, after this much of binding, let's try with this one if it will work out. And somewhat, no, for now. Yes, finally. We made it. Yes, we made it. <laughs> okay, here. This is the folding. Finally done. Okay, so try to, yes, so that's a learning for us that in such cases of folding, we need to use sheets with thin base. Okay, with thin bases. All right, now pick any portion as your front, the facing, front facing side of the fish, the body side. Now fold the other one to make the tail of the fish okay here i'm trying to make it from this side also a little you know like this little ahead okay up to this much then the other side and taking it but the tail portion isn't really visible all right so we need to do this do it like this one and the other one to be Somewhat this. Here. Here. This crisp and cross. Okay. So we need to make the placements accordingly. All right. Now it's time to add some glue on the surface. All right. Press well and make it fix. Here. Okay. So the fishes are done. We are done with the making of the fishes. Now take the base quickly. Bring it on to your workstation. Okay. Now it's up to you how you want to make the placements. So the placements will be like this. I will be making the placements like this. 
facing towards one another but little tilted okay come here this one in the center this red one on this side okay the yellow one on or maybe this yellow on this side and the bigger one to be facing like this and this one to be facing like this or to be facing like this okay so this is how you can make the we can make the placements accordingly all right yes so let's make the placement after the placements are done let's one by one add the glue on the back side of each okay and place them at the position we have decided this is position number one for yellow okay here all right similarly position number two for blue okay here that's position number two all right similarly position number three for the biggie one <laughs> okay be careful while you are doing the pasting work okay little above little tilted like this and here okay so this is the biggest one out of all the fishes here okay if you want to place if you want to make them fix like since the body of the bigger fish is too heavy right too big so you can also add the glue at the inside of it okay to make the flaps stick to one another yes something like this also same amount of glue on the base side if you want to make it fix or station to there to the either sides like this here fixing it at these four okay this much we are done with now the red one so let's add the glue on the back side of the red fish here okay place it facing little upward like this okay and the other one either we can also make it fake position like this also okay if you wish to or if you want to here i'm cutting off the uneven surface from this fish adding some glue on the back side of it okay and let's place it like this here okay up till this much we all are done are you on the same page all of us okay perfect now Take your sketch pens out. Okay. Different, different sketches you can use here to make the combinations, to make the patterns and designs on them. Okay. So on the blue one, I'm using blue again. Okay. I'm just using a blue sheet here. Sorry, blue sketch here. And form different, different patterns on each. Leaving a little gap in the front. Okay. So after a little gap, make a pattern like this. So here, I'm drawing some pattern like this. These are the scales, the designs or the patterns on the body of fish number one here. That's blue fish. Okay. Similarly, you can make any such patterns that you want to add, you want to make here on the fish. Okay. And that's added to this much. Okay. So the patterns, some curved ones. Now, take the black sketch pen. Here is the black sketch pen. Make one big circle in the front. Okay, the beautiful eye. Just the dot. This is the size. Okay, you can add the eye. So first, let's add the eye on all. Yes, let's give eye to all the fishes here. Similarly, for the bigger one, bigger eye. Okay, at the tip, you all can see. Here, at the tip of the fish's body, the structure, we are adding the eyes here on each of them. Okay, if you want to add googly eyes to any of them, so you can also add that. Okay, or if you want to make it on a white sheet of paper by adding the circles, you can also make it that way. Okay, but here I prefer to make it this way. Okay, yes. Now, for the yellow one, I will be making patterns with the green color. Okay, and on this, so these patterns are the scales. Okay, the scales on fish's body. 
So for this one, I will be making wave. Some waves here. Okay. You also add some patterns to the structures. All right. After this much, we are done. Now on the pink, here is the pink sketch. Okay. And I will be making some distorted, distorted cuttings like this. Some uneven triangles and filling them, them up with the same color. Some straight, some sweeping. Okay, make it that way. Just distorted images also, not just the triangles, distorted pieces you can add or make here. Okay, so patterns like this on the pink fish. Okay, we are done. Now on the bigger one, which is the orange fish here. So on the orange fish, I will be making pattern with red. Okay, and what type of patterns I'll be making here? Have a look. So make a round like structure here another round like structure on other side one longer structure like this one here one like this okay one here other one here one here this one or from this side and one from this side okay these are the patterns now fill them up with the same color so, every fish is different here because they are different in size, they are different in terms of look and their appearances, right? So, that's how they all are different from one another. Yes? Okay, similarly, you can also add such patterns, kids. Any of the patterns that you want to add, that's absolutely your choice here. You can add those patterns. This is your choice. Here. Like the uneven and the round one and this one. Okay, so keep filling them like this. This pattern from the other side. All right, this pattern here. And the last one of the orange, the biggest fish in this, yes, for the craft. Okay? Yes? Now, with the, for the red one, you can use orange. That's vice versa. Okay? Now, since we have made patterns on, on orange with red, so let's make the patterns on red with orange, okay? Or any other color if you want to use, so you can also use that, all right? Now, a line like this, okay? Make V like pattern here, okay? Another line at the tip of the V, make another series of V, make a Yes, make a chain of V like this. Now, another line like this. Series of V all over. Okay, here. This one as well. You can fill in the color on in the alternate Vs. V1, then this V, then this V. Okay. Similarly, this we the alternative ones here. All right. Yes, kids. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, everyone. Show me. Oh, awesome. Very good. Okay, that's amazing. I can see colorful fishes there. And they all look lovely. Okay, similarly on this one, the alternate patterns. Yes, here we go. Similarly onto this one. 
then this one here likewise on this one we count on the last one okay so the patterns on this fish is also done okay now kids we need to pick green sheet okay to so take a green sheet i will be using green sheet of two different sheets okay try to use thin sheets here for this specific role or this specific task okay this is one and this is other color the different color green okay different shade of green now on the screen cut a strip from this green from green number 1 okay cut a strip strip 1 strip 2 or strip 3 okay three such strips don't worry about the sizes okay it can be uneven don't worry about it so the corals right you know the corals so yes we are making the corals here okay and from the tip so take your sketch pens out oh oh take your pencils out i will be drawing that with the sketch pen okay so pattern i'm telling you i'm showing you here so this is the green sh sheet make the tip a little curvy like this from the top yes so draw such curves such patterns on all the green strips here so one two and three strips i have okay so on each of them i will be making a pattern like this okay now it's time to cut that okay be careful with the cutting yes so take your mama daddy's help here in this case if you find it difficult okay so take mama daddy's help here or if you are willing to do it on your own make sure you do it under some elders guidance we need to make it like this we need to make the tips pointed okay little pointed like this because these are the corals here okay yes kids now trimming it off and the last one of this color the specific color here okay now from the front side these are the fronts we need to place it how we will be placing it have a look add some glue on the back side of this okay yes on the back side of this at the tip only first at the tip okay and now keep other things aside keep these three only at the workstation on the workstation place it in the gap so this is the gap this is the place where i will be placing it now kids make it stick make it stand like make it hold from here with your fingertips keep a hold of it in the meantime give it give the whole thing a turn okay so a turn to the base from the base okay so you need to hold it with your thumb hold it like this and now give a twist or a turn to this okay make it hold make it hold make it hold okay like this a little hold as much as it can tolerate so make a hold like this so it can tolerate up to this much so i am just giving a fold up to this add some glue at the base side okay make it stick let the extra come we will remove that okay because corals are not straight grass they are not the grasses they are the corals right and so they need to be made that way so this is the first one let's remove the extra as i've told you let the extra one remove so let's remove the extra one done do the same thing at the space where you can find the space okay so this is the portion where i can put it so i can place it like this little tilted okay yes now let's add the glue here on the tip portion okay that's done this is the tip portion make it hold with your thumb hold as much it can tolerate little tilted like this and here okay fold 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 up to this much it can tolerate okay so i will be adding the glue at the base side of this area here okay make it stick like this okay making it stick like this that's done all right now holding the sheet in hands like this uh oh you need to be careful you need to be careful with the pasting of this also here pasting it from the top 
like this and now trimming off the extra part extra strip okay also we need to hold it a little above so that we can cut off the whole extra portion okay so that's two such patterns all right keep them away keep them away now the third one to be placed all right be careful add the glue as we did in the earlier cases add the glue at the tip portion okay here in a slanting position like this make it hold 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 and hold turn twist and turn twist and turn and stand here make it hold okay oh uh oh we need to be careful all right so this is the place this is the position make it hold make it hold as well as at the same time give it a fold like this okay so 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 with the fold fold from the base side okay or you can give a fold from the other side as well where that can in increase the chance of being removed so here after this much i can make it hold okay so in a slanting position like this i'm adding some glue at the base side okay here i've added the glue now sticking it all right carefully hold the sheet so that you can or we can remove the extra absolutely right the extra portion okay so up till this much we are done three such corals are added now it's time to use a leather sheet the different shade of green i will take out such thin strips from that as well okay here which are little longer in size also in length yes they are longer in length 2 and 3 only 3 of these three of other colors three of this green okay now we all know we need to make the tip little curvy like this so tip number 1 is removed tip number 2 is also curved now and so i think i should cut it from this side line and here tip number 3 oh oh be careful with this one okay so up till this much we are done here from this side we will be adding the glue on the tip of this green okay and making a combination of these two colors here so i will place it like this okay then making it hold or folding it like this in the opposite from the opposite side and then fixing it right here maybe a little slanted like this okay yes so in order to paste it or stick it we need to add the glue at the base side also so after giving few folds or turns to this fold number 1 or turn number 1 okay we need to be careful turn 1 turn 2 okay that's number 2 turn and here we go we will be fixing it from the base side okay like this two such corals okay now it's time for the longer one add the glue on the tip of it here okay position it above like this on this side okay now carefully press well with your key pressing with your thumb and now give it a turn like this so up till this portion we will stick it okay at the end of this we will be sticking it yes so add some glue at the end portion here okay now thumb press well, well with your thumb keep giving it a fold or twist and turns like this curve curve okay keep giving the curves or bends to this then okay be careful next fold next fold and here uh uh well let's be careful this 1 2 
three, and the last one will be today. Yes, two, four. Okay. All right. So a fold like this, a coral set, a pair of corals. Okay. Here. Onto this one. Rest with your thumb to make it stick or to make it hold. Okay. Now let's add the last one onto this side. Okay. On the other corner here. So adding the glue at this place. Okay. Placing it like this at this corner. Now with the turn, twist, turn and twist and turn and twist. Okay, like this. Here. At this position, I'll be adding the glue. Okay. As you can see, I've holded the upper top also in order to make it stick or to make it still. Okay. Now, I will bring the flap like this. We'll make it fix like this. Pressing it well. Okay. And at last, after this, we will remove off the extra sheet from this okay the pasting work is done now it's time to bring on quickly the poster color the paint colors okay yes so all the cutting work is done this is the only cutting part in this whole thing here now we need to decorate them right the bubbles which will make our artwork to make our craft work even more beautiful so take the earbuds okay take the paints so start with the blue one, any shade of blue you can use here, okay, here, I'm using this shade of blue, okay, keeping the cap away, alright, this is the paint, slightly dipping my earbud in water, taking the paint and now we need to make the bubbles here, okay, so bubbles, bigger, smaller, smaller, so make a series like this. Make a sequence like this. Some big, some small. Okay. So dip the paint again. Make the bubbles like this. So make an order of bubbles. Let's make it the bigger one. Okay. More big, more big, more big. Then little lesser than that. Smaller, a little smaller. Then even more smaller. Yes. Dipping it in paint again. Yes, taking some paint here carefully. Drop. And the final, the smallest one. Okay, so bubbles like these. Can you see that? Similarly onto this one. Three bubbles. Make a series of how many, whatever the count of bubbles that you want to make. Just make sure the series to be smaller, little bigger. Okay, make it either in, make, you can either make it from bigger to smallest, okay, from biggest to smallest or from smallest to biggest. You can make it this way also, okay. Now, a little bigger, more bigger, dipping it in paint again, okay, here, more bigger and the biggest, so let's make the biggest one here. Okay, as you can see, so make such bubbles all around, okay, from here also. Changing the sequence, the biggest, then little lesser or sh shorter than that, okay, then even more shorter or smaller and then the smallest one. So the count of sequence, the sequence you can keep accordingly as per your choice, okay? So here. All right, kids? Yes, so the bubbles, I can see that, yes, we have made the bubble formations here, okay? This is the elements. You can also add some at this place. So let me add some more. Three here, one. Another one, that means the next one, number two. Okay. This size one should be a little bigger. And then the smallest one out of these. Yes, the smallest one. So I'm done with this. Yes, the bubbles, only these much of bubbles I'm making here for now. 
keeping the earbud away keeping now it's time to bring on the white paint okay so take the white paint out take a fresh earbud okay here take fresh earbud take a white paint out and very carefully position the sheet like this like place the sheet like this okay dip the earbud in the paint all right now carefully around these corals make the dots the white dots around these corals here three on this side a flower like pattern i'll be making a sequence here around this one here a little bigger even these are the bu bubbles only yes all right so make it like this also you can make a series of white bubbles the way you made for the blue ones right the sequence the way you made it for the blue ones similarly you can also make it for the white ones okay be careful and carefully put the circles or patterns like this using the white paint okay okay So I'm carefully adding it on this side, flipping the sheet so that I can comfortably add it. Okay, as you can see, the bigger one, a little lesser than that, and the the smallest one here. Okay, this and go like this. Okay, similarly on the last one. This portion here. One, two, three, four. Okay, the hollow spaces. Let's fill them. And for this side also, make a pattern, a floral pattern around it. Okay, and some white from this side also. Here, let's put a drop, 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 drop. Okay. And few more here. That's done. And now we are done. If you can find any area like non filled, uncolored, or you feel that it lacks some elements, so yes, you can add the elements. And now we are done. So, this way, kids, we have made a very beautiful aquatic scene using basic very simple craft techniques okay and how beautifully we have made. just by the dots of the earbuds we have decorated it by forming the bubbles in the water that's formed when fishes are around okay or when fishes take the movement because they are breathing in right so breathing in breathing out and the process is going on so that's how bubbles are coming up okay so this way we have made such a beautiful artwork i hope you all have enjoyed it thoroughly you as I can see, you guys are almost done with it. Just the final touches are left. So quickly complete it and share your work with us on the Yellow Class portal or on Yellow Class Facebook page or on Yellow Class Instagram page. Okay? Yes, kids. And your tip for the day is the type of elements. Okay? So as I have mentioned at the end of the craft work that if you feel that any space lacks any element, that means you feel it that it's empty. There are some blank spaces which needs to be filled. So have a keen eye for such things. Okay. And try to look for the, try to yourself. Okay. So try yourself to look for the right elements to be placed at right place. Okay. So with the practice, with the regular practice and the dedication, you will eventually get a good hold of it. So yes, quickly complete your artwork. Keep on trying and Keep having fun with yellow classes. Take care, everyone. Good day and bye-bye. See all of you.